What's up y'all? I'm back out here on the range again on a breezy cloudy day. Actually a little bit cool out here believe it or not. I think it's only supposed to hit the mid 50s or so by the time I'm heading out of here. As long as the wind don't get real crazy out here though it ain't nothing I can't handle to get a little bit of testing done and I'm gonna start it out with what should be some interesting nine mil. So of course y'all know the deal. We got the jelly contraption set up ready to roll with a couple of chronos and two fresh blocks of gel here. First test of the day so we'll get a really nice clear picture on this one here. Of course as always i'm using a heavy clothing barrier here that's got a layer of denim fleece and two layers of cotton t-shirt and what we're checking out on this one is another round from corbon now this one's a lot fancier than that 125 plus p that i tested although i really like the performance of that 125 plus p i'll leave a link above if y'all hadn't seen that one but we got their power ball here the first thing i always think of is the lotto here so i hope the odds of this right here doing well are better than hitting that lotto uh this is some polymer cap ammo is what they calling it now this is an older design a lot of people have heard of this and used it some people seem to really like it i've never tried this in particular but i have tried some other rounds similar to scott's inserts in the front of them but what we're looking at here with this is a 100 grain plus p9 mil now the light for caliber stuff y'all know also i'm not a huge fan of but this being 100 that's not real far off from 115 so i'm curious though if they're actually including the polymer ball in that 100 so we'll see when we get to the weigh-in on that but they're claiming 1475 feet per second velocity on this stuff now i looked on their website and they're saying that's out of a four inch barrel so we've got one a little bit shorter and a little bit longer out here and that would give us 483 foot pounds of energy so if this stuff performs well and actually hits up near that velocity this might be some pretty decent stuff but here's what you're working with brass case there now it's a jacketed lead hollow point with that polymer ball in the front the purpose of that polymer ball a couple different things pretty much like all the rest with the inside supposed to prevent clogging a matter of fact that they claim on this box that the power ball makes it impossible to be plugged by heavy clothing so we for sure are gonna put that to the test it's supposed to be really nice controlled expansion go in several inches and then have that ball out of the way and then expand for you um, it's supposed to be really nice for real finicky loading tools now I don't have anything that's even finicky at all in nine mil so I don't really have any way to test that I would say something like a 1911 like a real flat sharp ramped air so I don't have any way to test that, but that's some of the benefit claims of this insert. Now, again, that velocity was claimed through a four inch barrel, but what I've got here is a 3.1 inch Canic Mede MC9. And then I've got my G17 with the four and a half inch barrel. So we should definitely get that performance out of this G17 and hopefully we'll get that or close out of this MC9. So this ought to be pretty interesting either way it goes. Let's get this stuff set up and see if we can strike it rich with the Powerball. All right, let's see if this Powerball's got the right numbers. I'm gonna do a five round average from each one starting with this med a mc9 first now like i always mention if you're not familiar with this lab radar you're gonna get multiple velocity numbers the large numbers right here at the muzzle the five across the bottom one set for three yards which is roughly where the gel is here at 10 feet and then you've got 10 15 25 and 50. So now remember, we're looking for 1475. I don't expect it out of this because this is an inch shorter than what they're claiming out out of, but be nice to get close to that for sure. I'd like to see around 1400. Let's see what happens. Woo, that's loud. 1375, definitely loud. 1392, 1386, 1398, and 1373 definitely some loud stuff pretty mild on the recoil and not too terrible on the velocity for being an inch shorter than what they're claiming let's check out the velocity all right so our five round average on this three incher was 1385 we had an extreme spread of 25 with a standard deviation of 10.8 so pretty consistent stuff there 1385 were what 90 short of what they're claiming on the box uh giving up that inch of barrel length that does probably make sense because i've noticed when testing this real light fast stuff but a little bit of barrel gives up a pretty good bit of velocity but let's get this reset and see what the g17 does all right here we go five rounds with the g17 we're looking for 1475 and again i'm pretty sure it was four inch what they claim that out of on their website so no excuse for not hitting that with this uh g17 1488 1468 1459, 1449, 
1450 so started out above that 1475 and dropped just a little bit below it though let's see what the average is all right so that time we definitely got close we had a five round average of 1463 we did have one i believe that was the first one of 1488 that exceeded the box so extreme spread was 39 with a standard deviation of 16.3 now you're gonna blame it on whatever conditions atmospheric conditions there's a little bit of wiggle room in there so it's definitely pretty close that being said i feel like that's gonna do a fan fantastic job in a gel the mc9 uh it probably is too honestly so 1463 on this one and if you remember on that mc9 it was 1385 so you talking about uh what is that 78 feet per second faster from that glock 17 so even that 1385 though with a 100 grain projectile that's moving on pretty good and unless that ball is it actually has the opposite effect i think both of these should do pretty good in the gel but let's get this stuff set up and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's can we strike it rich with powerball jelly time i'm gonna put one round from each barrel into the gel starting with this mc9 first again i think both of these are probably going to do a pretty good job i really hope they do anyway let's see what happens all right that was absolutely perfectly where i wanted it let me go see what i got All right, y'all, I didn't actually expect this stuff to do bad, but I didn't expect it to perform like we just saw right there at that MC9. That stuff did a fantastic job. I mean, it looks really, really nice down there. So I expect this stuff is going to do as well, if not better. So let's see what happens here. All right, should be another perfect spot. Let's go check these things out. All right, let's see what we got down here, y'all. Absolutely fantastic performance from both of these. This is exactly how I like to start the day of testing out. Uh, we'll start up here on the top with the MC9. As you can see, it comes in here, sheds that little polymer ball right up there. You can see it and just immediate expansion. Very, very nice expansion. Very nice disruption. Carries on through this first block. Looks like it's about uh, 14 inches or so. So absolutely beautiful penetration and the expansion looks just as good and then moving on down below that the g17 more of pretty much exactly the same thing i believe that right there is the little polymer ball from that i'll have to check it out when i pull it but again sheds the polymer ball very very nice expansion and disruption right there carries through that first block here looks like this one goes maybe a half inch to a three quarters of an inch further but the same very very nice expansion and both of them just excellent penetration and speaking of that the first one here from the mc9 that one is at 13 and a half inches so really really nice there now me personally i would like to see a couple more but that's just my personal taste that's absolutely picture perfect as far as textbook penetration and then on your g17 here you're actually right at 14 so again pretty much the same i think both of these did an absolutely fantastic job and now looking from above this little polymer ball it shed that ball right at three inches and the other g17 i can see it down there now in that disruption at exactly the same three inches and if i bring in closer here you can see again mc9 on the top g17 bottom you can see the little polymer ball up there from the mc9 the one from the g17 is right in there in that disruption i don't think you're gonna be able to see it from here but anyway we'll follow them both nice disruption all the way through there's your projectile from the mc9 and then there's the one from the g17 and then here from above you can definitely see the little polymer ball from the mc9 if i get close i think there down below you can see the little polymer ball in that disruption from the g17 so it pretty much exactly the same place again we'll follow them here there's your nice nice uh, expansion from the mc9 and down on the bottom g17 same very very nice expansion all right let's check out these projectiles very nice stuff again to look at here this one is from the mc9 this one's from the g17 pretty much the same expansion although this g17 with that little bit extra velocity it peeled back the pedals further you can probably see 
you've got actually you're going to have a bigger size when we measure it from this mc9 although this g17 technically expanded more again because of the velocity it just peeled the pedals back but either way very very nice and what that shows me that this stuff really does have some really nicely controlled expansion because with the higher velocities you know it compensates by peeling back so you basically get the same penetration and performance out of multiple different barrel lengths now i did pull one of the little polymer balls here and it's nothing but just a hard polymer ball and i can tell you i already cheated i measured already so that is not included in the 100 grains so we'll measure them here and show you this is the mc9 they both started at 100 and this is 100.0 right on the dot so nothing at all lost same thing here with this g17 it's actually at 99.7 probably just manufacturing tolerances because i don't see any kind of loss from either one of them and then as far as the sizes here we'll start with the g17 because again it's going to be smaller you got 544 and 552 so very very nice expansion there and then the mc9 here you got 623 and 621 so again really really nice even expansion from both of these so there you go y'all the 9 mil plus p powerball from corbon i have to admit i kind of thought that this just might be another gimmicky type of round before i tested these things i'm really impressed by this stuff this is probably one of the better performing or the best performing insert type of rounds like this that i've tested so far a lot of them just don't get rid of whatever the insert is so it kind of pre-clogs it and it just goes you know a lot of penetration no expansion or maybe tumbles but these things right here did exactly what they say so if this was my carry around right here i would feel plenty prepared for whatever i might run into all right y'all i'm gonna wrap it up right there for this one and it was definitely a great way to start the day of testing i think surprise might be the best way to describe how i feel about what i saw out here today again i didn't have the worst hopes or the worst thoughts for it but i didn't expect a really good performance like i saw i think this was great performance near perfect uh, again my taste y'all know how i am i'd like to see a couple few more inches of penetration but i'm sure most people are going to absolutely love what they saw out of this stuff but let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the performance out of these let me know if any of y'all out there actually carry these i know some of y'all carry certain types of powerball because you've mentioned it down in the comments but let me know if any of y'all out there carry this 100 grain plus p and what do you think about the performance out of it if you did enjoy the video take a second to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything that i upload like i always remind you if you're doing some shopping check out those affiliate links i've got in the video description anything you buy after hitting up those links i'll get a kick back from them towards the channel so i really do appreciate that like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel i've got a couple more really interesting tests planned for out here today so stay on the lookout for those and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon